Welcome back to the baby. Hey. Welcome back to the basement yard. Frank, how's it going, bud? Well, it's going well with a caveat. Bit of a, oh, well, hello. There we Damn, go. you putting down the, the White Claws, picking up the Celsies? A polar Mandarin, isn't that? That's a, that's a Chinese, a language. that's a dialect of Chinese, yeah. yeah, but that's also a fruit. I, I know. Um, it's an orange. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, what's the difference between a Mandarin and a, and a Tangerine? And a clementine. And a clement. Yes. What's the difference? That there is none. I, I don't. Know. I don't think there is one. Me neither. I've literally. If it's orange, I just call it an orange. Mm-hmm. I don't really care what, how big, how small, what kind. No. What were you gonna say? Uh, I was gonna say I'm. I'm kind of dreading um, that the day that this comes out for our patrons on Patreon.com/slash The Basement Yard will be the day that I'm getting my shvax. Not sh- not vaccine. My wax. Oh, oh. Not my vaccine. My waxing. Yeah, your vaccine. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Frankie's getting waxed on Patreon. Uh, we may put together a little bit of a trailer so you guys can see like what you're in for. But we have a whole thing planned out. There's going to be about four of us there filming. Uh, wait, too, I'll tell you this. One too many. Yeah, yeah. Um, Three would have been comfortable. I, I would have been cool with just you and the waxer. Yeah. What's it? What was the what the wax specialist? Um. Wax enthusiast? The, the, uh, the woman. The woman. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but they're, my understanding, other people will be there too. So they're going to My meet. mom's going to come. What? No, she's not. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> but can you imagine? Uh, uh, no. I, I don't know. I don't want to. I know. Your mom Your mom has known me a long time. Oh, I thought you were going to say I don't think she's else. ever. I don't think she's ever seen me naked. No, I don't think so. I can, I can almost with absolute certainty say that she is not. Yeah, I think I could say that as well. I would hope. Oh, well, we I'm sure we were like four years old, and I was just like, I need to get changed. And I was just like naked. but like, Running up to my mom and being like, okay, done. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you present yourself like Jesus? I don't know. Like Kids like walk stupid. Like, kids they do, walk with their arms behind them. and Kids, like, do, kids run stupid as shit. Yeah. Bro, I... Their legs go in and out. Not even just that. Or their top, bot, like, their top half just stays level, and their legs are just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're mad. They're stompers. Stampers. I, I have a problem. I mean, we've spoke about this before. Like, you know how, like, you walk by an old person and you're like, I could I could just, you know, end it right now for Specifically them. old ladies, yes. Um, <laughs> there's, that, there's that good old misogynist. <laughs> it's just... I know, I'm with you. Um, but anytime, One time I did take down an old man, though. I did take down an old man. When did you take down an old man? When I was super young. I was in a... Not, like, take down, like, sex. No, bro. No, no. I took him down physically. Why? Well, not for uh, not for purpose, not on purpose. How do you accidentally take down an old man? I'm gonna tell you right now, Jimmy. I was walking in CVS and I saw some like big candy thing, and I was like, "Bet!" And an old guy was walking by, and he had his cane, and I just fucking ran into it because I was like, "Get the fuck out of my way!" Oh, gotcha. Because at that point, I don't have like a concept of like. Yeah, but you're I an idiot. specifically remember this. I like ran to his cane, and he went no, and his cane <laughs> went in the air, and he hit the ground like hard. Yeah, bro. I fucking knocked this old bitch on his ass. What kind of candy? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that makes a big difference. I mean, I, I don't know. But I do remember that. And the guy was screaming at me. He was screaming at my mom. Because my mom's like, he's a child. And then she, he was like, oh, fuck ever. And then he, the CVS got like involved. Like, Damn. See, now, if I was that old man and I saw you were running for like Twix or like a dope candy like Milk Duds, I'd be like, all right, go ahead. I'll buy it for you. But if it was like you were running for like Reese's Pieces or, or Snow Caps or Good and Plenty, I would have fucking picked up that cane and beat you to death. Okay, well, I wasn't running for snow caps and good and plenty. I'm well, not an idiot. I don't, <laughs> I don't know, Joey. That's why if you were running for peeps, I'd be very happy. I'll talk about my peeps. But no. as I was saying before, anytime I see a kid running, I don't care who the kid is. A part of me it just wants to put my leg out and trip him. Yeah. No, you know what I find myself wanting to do? When you see a kid just kind of like walking and it's like they can walk, but they've only been walking for a few months. So they look a little dumb. I just want to shove them. Just, <laughs> just give them a test and just see, see, like, let's see how good you see are. See if you can figure it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hate seeing if you yeah, can handle that. When they that. like figure out to walk, they're kind of doing one of these, and it's yeah. just like, just go down. Yeah, I'm with you there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it is about it. Speaking of children, uh, Easter just passed. How was your Easter? It was good. Or did you have an Easter? Because I know you do that Greek shit. I did. Well, Greek shit. Careful. You do that Greek shit. I do Greek shit. Uh, Easter was good. I had a good time. Uh, hosted, uh, you know, part of the family, and you know, good food. <laughs> you answered that like a fucking job interview. <laughs> and, uh, you know, good no, I was good, man. I mean, yeah. 
you know, st- I ate a whole buttload of Robin's eggs, dude. Let me tell you. I'm not like. What, what, what? I, I like, I like. Bro, the, they have the little ones, which are cute, but then they got the big old boys. Dude, they're like this fucking big. Yeah. <laughs> Eight inches. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty big. Yeah. Um, no, I've never, I, I don't really get down with that. I'll tell you what I did have, though. Yeah, I know you. A lot of Twix. Yeah. Ooh. Because my mom bought this bag that it came with like Starburst and then Twix. <gasps> and also I had a bunch of jelly beans. Yeah, you're you're a big Starburst jelly bean fan. Yeah. Which I, a lot of cookies too for some reason. Cookies, cookies. There was that, just like chocolate chip cookies around. And not I was a like lot of cookies. Them. I'll tell you this. I have like 18 hard boiled eggs in my fridge that will probably all be dyed blue the moment I take the shell off. So if you if you want some hard boiled eggs, you know who to come to, Joe. Yeah. Um. Did you do like an Easter egg hunt or did you dress up as the Easter bunny? I didn't dress up as the Easter bunny. Uh, I was cooking all day, you know, Becca and I were kind of doing that. So we had a little Easter egg hunt in the yard for the kids. Bro, remember what I told you about like how like the kids get money? I knew a kid that got $45 in Easter eggs. Who's his parents? Warren Buffett and fucking... Fucking <laughs> Elon Musk and Warren Buffett. Yeah. yeah, Jesus. Yeah, dude, insane. All Ours were just filled with jelly beans and little Robin's eggs. Yeah. That's it, that's it, that's it babe. We you know, we used to, we used to, my mom used to hide stuff in. I'm like, oh, here, like, you don't have to do the dishes. It's like a coupon. Damn. Yeah, I never did them anyway. Yeah, well... I always pretended that I had to take a shit. I usually did, <laughs> but I if even if I didn't, I'd be like, this is a perfect I was gonna time. I say, chances are your bowels actually had to go. Yeah. There was that a, IBS was screaming. There was an eject button being hit whenever I ate. I remember the dishes in your house, like, very vividly. Like, everyone, like, it would always... I, I, I vaguely remember Keith always doing them. And being very, very angry about them. Uh, well, because, yeah, it was like a whole thing, honestly. And there was like a hierarchy. There was seniority. In my house, after we had dinner, my dad would give the same speech. He goes, all right, listen. And he would sit <laughs> at the end of the table and he'd go, listen, your mother's not doing a thing. All right, she cooked this. You guys are going to clean it, blah, blah, blah. And everyone would clear their own plates. But then it was like a talk. Like, you can't, like, four people, four kids, like, all put the dishes in the dishwasher. Yeah, and you guys had a pretty tight... So me and Keith would always get fucking Throttle. stuck with doing yeah. that. I was okay with doing the dishes because I'll tell you one thing. This guy's not washing big pots. Oh, no. You hated that. I remember just the rinse and in a ditch wash. Yeah, but no, but there was always big pots that you had to like hand wash. Your mom, your mom was big with big pastas and sauces. I'll tell you this right now. I, one time I put a big pot in the dishwasher because I was trying to save some time and my dad found out and literally tried to put me into the dishwasher. Wait, what? Yeah. You can't put pots? Why put pots in the dishwasher if they're dishwasher safe? No, because no, it's not about it being safe because I'm sure he doesn't give a fuck about that. <laughs> it was just like if you put a big pot in the bottom. <laughs> I keep saying big pot. Big bot. But if you put a big pot in the bottom, then it blocks some of the water or something. I don't know. Gotcha. Like, things on top. You shove that big thing in the back there. Yeah. It backs it up a little bit. Okay. Now we're, are we still talking about oh. pot? <laughs> yes, we are still talking about pot. Okay. I didn't know if you were saying anything else. Um, but yeah, no, I did that and he got really pissed off and he was probably, you know, my dad used to hit me for an abundance of reasons. But. What day is it? Friday? Come here. Bing, pow. And like I said, I, we used to get beaten tandem, me and Keith. So if he did something wrong, I would get hit anyway. Damn. I'm sorry. I mean, I didn't. It taught us uh, how to be a team. My dad just, he didn't. Held us both accountable. Yeah. Do you know one time? Bro, uh-huh. let me tell you a story. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe I just remembered this. So growing up, I had really good handwriting. Keith, to this day, does not. Can't scratch. It looks like me, drunk, lefty. Yeah, Joey has like very like girly. Swirly, twirly handwriting. Yeah. So one day, and I don't know why I did this, but I took a pen and I went to my uh, radiator and I wrote Keith's name in shit handwriting. You little I don't know bitch. Why. I don't know why and I did that. you tell me I'm a psychopath. Listen to this, right? My dad or my mom saw it, got pissed off, and then my dad yelled at Keith or whatever. And Keith's like, "Bro, I didn't do that. Whatever." Where were you? And then I, I mean, I, I like knew it was happening, and I was like, "Oh my god!" Right. So I, but it wasn't like my, I wasn't trying to get him in trouble. I just like, I guess, wanted to write on something. And I was like, "This is a safe way to get what I want." Yeah, I want to write on this, <laughs> so let me make the world believe it was not me. Exactly. Yeah. Bro, when my dad found out that it was me, bro, <laughs> bad, horrible. You got a bad? Yeah, I like. I don't remember what happened, but I, I like. Whenever I think about, I think I may have blacked it out. 
but I'm pretty sure he like swung me like King Kong <laughs> by my ankle because I like he was like you because I was young. That was evil. Yeah, that it was like just evil. bad. That was, was like, like deliberately like, you evil. You framed your brother. <laughs> Like, for what? That's bad, dude. Yeah, I remember that specifically. And after that, like, oh, man, everyone's just like, Joey's a conniving little piece of shit. Oh, dude, my brothers used to write facts to my tag all over my, <laughs> all over the house in Sharpie. And then my mom would be like, you, and I'd be like, mom, first of all, I would try to use a logic and be like, mom, this is how I write it. Awesome. Not like my brothers <laughs> <laughs> who were just writing like, you know, super, I would be like, blah, blah, blah. But they did it all over my house in Sharpie one time, and my mom fucking to this day still thinks it was me. My brothers have already admitted it wasn't, but my sister did some diabolical shit like that when I was a baby. I must have been like one and a half, or maybe like one, one and a half, maybe even closer to two. And we had come home from the lake house, and my parents were sitting in the living room when they were still together. And <laughs> they, <laughs> they said that they heard me starting to cry, and then my sister being like, shh, it's okay, brother. It's okay. And they were like, that's so fucking sweet. Like, uh, Frankie was crying. His big sister, like, calmed him down. She slapped you. Slapped me. Dude, my <clears throat> mom took me the next, like, day to, like, a checkup or, like, a doctor. And they saw a fucking bullseye. And this is when Lyme's disease was like, bro, you get Lyme's disease, you're good as dead. Yeah, it's a wrap. Yeah, which I mean, I don't know if this it's is not correct. true, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. the early nineties people. The super <laughs> we like to make it dramatic. Yeah, <laughs> the doctor's like, he's got he got bit by a tick. It's over. It's done. And she, my mom freaked out, so she brought me to the doctor, and or I was already at the doctor, and the doctor was like, uh, does he have siblings? And my sisters, my mom is like, oh fuck, oh fuck, he's you know his sister must have, must have it, <laughs> bro. My sister bit me on the stomach. He goes, it's not a tick bite. It's a human bite. Bit me on the stomach to make me cry and then shushed me to be a good sister. Dude, that's fire. That's fucking evil, dude. That's hilarious. Where do people get this shit? <laughs> and my mom like... Bit you on the... You can do so many other things. Bro, you can hit me. Like, I'd rather her just fucking backhand me or some shit. But Bro, you gotta bite a baby hard to leave a mark the next day. Dude, that's what I'm saying. Like, Damn. Yeah. She's so, got a strong bite. She got, she had a strong bite. That's some diabolical shit. You yeah. kind of deserved that beating, though. Oh, yeah, big time. That's a, Your dad physically beat you. My dad just didn't show up to baseball games. Yeah, yeah. Well, my dad would that, too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you had the worst of worst of both worlds. Yeah, you know. No, he came to some stuff, but other stuff, he'd be like, uh. Yeah, my dad was No parking. Like, and my dad would be like, got work. <laughs> I'd be like, all right, I get, I get it. Your yeah. dad's in Colombia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's got to work on the beach in Cartagena, <laughs> you know? It's like, I don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> he's going to see this, and he's going to be like, well, my dad, first of all, dad will not see this. Yeah, I don't know. And he'll be like, dad was really fucking mean. Mm -hmm. I was always there for you. Mean. Mean. Um, but since we're talking about kids, uh, there was a story in the news that a parent who dressed up as the Easter Bunny uh -huh. this past weekend, uh, handed out condoms at a Texas elementary school. Oh, okay. I will say this. That's an Easter treat. Well, it, <laughs> it apparently was an accident. Oh, uh, I don't know, because I heard this story, and apparently the guy like is like, normally he works at like a sex clinic. Maybe that's where he got the condoms from. Well, so I'm on Daily Mail, and it says, uh, incident appears to be a mix-up. <laughs> I love mix up. <laughs> it appears to be a mix up caused by uh, caused when pharmacist mother grabbed a wrong basket of eggs meant for safe, separate safe sex clinic. Hey man, here's an idea. If you are gonna hand out condoms and eggs, make the eggs very different from the candy eggs. Also, like, bro, check one of the eggs. If you know you have a bunch of condom eggs and a bunch of candy eggs, a little shake, a shake test, babe. A shake, shake test. You could hear. You hear? Oh, a couple jelly beans. No movement. Probably a Jimmy. The worst part, <laughs> the worst part about this is that the people, the other people, are getting prophylactics, or they're not getting prophylactics. Yeah, those kids that wanted, yeah, they wanted exactly. prophylactics. Those high schoolers that they're were getting like, jelly beans. Oh, we're getting some free condoms out of this. They're just getting jelly beans, yeah. which you know that red dye forties in there might make them last longer. You know, is that true? I thought that killed sperm. Uh, or one of those. I remember when I was in like high school, I heard that last longer thing. Remember Woolies? Woolies. You don't remember that? No. That's what people used to call those, like, un, like labeled drinks. And they'd be like, yo, you drink oh, these, you, like, kill your sperm. Oh, yeah, the barrels. The barrels. This the, is how fucking dumb we were when we were younger. Very dumb. Still dumb. People would call these things woolies, and they were like, yo, if you drink those, like, it kills your sperm. So if you did get caught drinking them, people were like, you're gay. 
Because <laughs> they they equated being killing your sperm killing your with sperm. being gay, actively purposefully killing your sperm to being gay. Yeah, hey, like, checks out my book. Man. <laughs> I don't know. No, I remember because it was like you got your laptop on your fucking lap. You're killing your sperm. You're killing you your sperm. You gay guy, <laughs> dude. That there was the whole thing with like eating Twizzlers when you were like when we were kids. It was like eating Twizzlers will make it'll kill your sperm so you last longer. The idea that like killing your sperm oh Frankie like, hold holds on. them back. Hold on. I have never heard that. <laughs> what? I'm so I've, here on the I know show. Th- things kill your sperm, but and and I, I've heard. So I know the story of you eat, shoving Twizzlers in your mouth. In because, my mouth. Because you thought it made you last yeah, longer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never thought that you thought that killing sperm meant <clears throat> lasting longer. That I didn't know. I'm not gonna sit here and inherit responsibility for making that up. I am pretty sure <laughs> that's the way it was conveyed to me. Is that killing your sperm like held them back? Like, stop them. Like, they're dead, so there's less in there. You know what I mean? Like, the idea of, like, the army's at the gates. There's no army at the gate. They can't run in. I used to think that people who got vasectomies, like, didn't come. Like, when, nothing, when nothing did you would stop come out? thinking that? Because I'll tell you someone who recently thought that about a month ago. You? Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know this stuff. It's one of those things that unless you, you ask, you, you don't thought know. that you would just have sex and then nothing would come out, but what, like, oh, that of, feels like a cum. That's one of the questions I asked. <laughs> you thought that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's one of the you questions were gonna get... I asked the urologist. Wait, hold on. You asked a doctor. Yes. <laughs> what happens? Do I just not come Yeah, in? because I didn't know. Oh, tell me how you said it, please. I said, so what comes out when I, when I feel like... <laughs> I didn't know if it was just like nothing or if it was like dust or some shit. I love how you said what comes out. Well, I don't, I don't know. What do you say? Why Why are you getting on me for not knowing this? This is psychotic, dude. You're this 30. Is, like, I was like, First of all, 29, okay? Yeah, just, just wait 30 seconds. You'll be 30. What, so wh- what did he say? First of all, I've told we told this story at the old studio. And... He was very aggressive. I had to tell him, like, yo, chill. He was like, he wanted to be like the cool urologist that was just like, yo, I got your balls. I got your bing bongs. I've done this enough. So, like, <laughs> when I asked, I didn't think it was going to be a big deal. And he was just like, <laughs> I was like, so what comes out? And he was like, what? <laughs> He's like, oh, you still ejaculate. There's still ejaculate. It's just like, you're shooting blanks. Yeah. I didn't know that. I thought it was like, Dude. it's like you feel like, because, bro. Okay. Story time. Yeah. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> when I was in like sixth grade, yes. I would come home from school, and I would <laughs> slam that wing. I would slam the would, slam the wing. You would spank. Machine. You would spank your shit. I wouldn't spank it as much as I I had. Remember that back vibrator I told you about that looked like Alpha Alpha. Yes. I mean not Alpha Alpha Five from, you know Power Rangers. Weird. Well, thing. I would sit there and hold it. You would vibrate your penis. I would. Yeah. And to the point where it felt like I like something was gonna happen, but nothing happened. So right. like that's when I knew, like that's that's what I thought at the time. That's what would happen. Right. So my brain into the age of twenty nine thought that <laughs> if I get a vasectomy, because it would just cut the roads off, you know, like you put up a no, do not drive sign. Yeah. And that's what I thought would happen. It's fucking fire. That you thought that. I don't think I am ridiculous for thinking that. If anything, I'll fall <laughs> on the sword. That's a tough one. Bro. I don't know. That's a tough one. I would, you're going to tell me, in what, at what age did you realize that a vasectomy? Because you weren't asking about You didn't even know what a vasectomy was probably until you were like 20. Uh, yeah, no. I didn't, I didn't know what it was. But I, like, I feel like shortly after finding out what it was, you figure out like what happens. You know? ah, I like a sperm count. Like you, like you go to the doctor and check your sperm count. People check their sperm count sometimes to see like how like uh, uh yeah. I was gonna say fluid, but how, so how fertile, how good. Yeah, like how sick, you how, are. how rad their how thumb dope is. your soil is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. So I knew that. So I put two and two together. Like yo, people are going in there. They're getting different numbers. They probably just get a, a whack oh, number. I didn't know. I didn't know that. Like I, I didn't know it was like the. What, 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 like the vis, what, does it have anything to do with like viscosity? Like that's what I asked. Yeah, no, just like uh, you know, just like the cool, like the coolness, the cool level to their cum. Like super fertile cum, good cur- sperm count is like dope. Like it's like liquid. It's like what's the, what's the breast milk stuff called? The, the formula? No, 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 no. That ain't it. Well, I didn't know what you were referring to. Uh, like before, women get their breast milk. They get like a like a like another fluid. Ah, don't oh, remember. Uh, Just had a kid a year ago. Now you're you're getting me. I don't know what the fuck yeah. you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. have like pre cum milk. Yeah. 
You didn't know that. When, no, so women, when they get pregnant, they, I, they, I knew they the, milk it. They milk I knew their shit shows up and yeah. there's like milk in them. It's, yeah. But they have pre-cum milk? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this isn't edible it's, milk? It's called, No, it is. It's like, it's like, they call the best it liquid milk. gold. Yeah, it's like, you're getting like, you know, like Top notch upper milk. echelon, like Michelin star breast milk. Mich- three Michelin star tit <laughs> yeah. milk. Damn, but I can't remember the name of it. And I remember. Damn, I didn't fucking know that, dude. You didn't know that? So they, their pre cum is fucking sick, and ours is whack. Ours is so awful, dude. Just trying to say eight words just now. <laughs> yeah, I did. I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, their like, pre cum milk is like dope, dude. I didn't know. I forgot what it's called. Uh, fuck. I mean, I'll Google pre cum milk. I'm going to hear the name, and I'm going to be upset. Uh, uh, what should I type? Um, just like before breast milk, what's the liquid called? <laughs> uh, come before breast milk comes in. Everyone's watching. They're oh, screaming! Colostrum, colostrum, baby! Uh, they're screaming colostrum. Yeah, colostrum, you idiot! They're saying like it's like the best shit on the planet. Yo, hold on! I don't know that motherfuckers know what colostrum is. Like maybe if you've like you know no, you're but there are women. There are women out there because women are are told more about their body than men are told about women's bodies. Which, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the, women are told more about bodies. Period. Than yeah, men we are. don't know anything. We don't know a goddamn. We just judge them when we say, "Ah, you're fat." Yeah, that's gross. What, that's what we do. Gross boy. <laughs> and uh, no, I meant we judge women's bodies. Oh, okay. They don't tell us anything about them. We're like, oh, we oh, don't we don't know what your vagina is, but you're fat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's kind don't of. Don't ask me what your ovaries do, but they suck. Yeah. Uh, but no, the colostrum they say like is like, bro, it's like the best shit in the world. It's like sought after. It's like the baby's first thing that they have, and it's like super fucking potent in like nutrients and vitamins. Can like dudes have that? Not like, dude. I mean, like, boys like, can lactate, dude. You suck on this nipple hard enough, something's coming out. I know. I, I learned that for a. That's yo. Know, that would take a lot. But on other people's lives, we had talked to, to a, a woman who uh, has a breastfeeding fetish or something like that. Yeah. So sometimes she'll have someone just suck on her tip for like four hours, and, and she's it, not pregnant, but she'll eventually lactate. Wow. That's and she crazy. also said, like, yo, you suck on a dude nip for long enough, you'll get some. Well, something's coming out. I'm not quite sure what it is though. Some butter. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's get to these ads. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get to these ads. The first one we have here is MVMT. MVMT makes really cool, fine jewelry and nice watches. Uh, you, you, and it's also a fraction of the price. You go to a department store, you're looking at like five, six hundred dollars for a watch. You can get a really nice watch at a fraction of the price. Super uh, affordable. And they also have blue light glasses, which are good because everyone that. Every now and then, you're staring at your phone, you're staring at a screen, a computer, you're watching TV. You need some blue light glasses to protect you. Um, they also have sunglasses, super durable sunglasses with UV rated polarized lenses and timeless styles. Uh, perfect gifts for anyone, unisex, boy, girl, whatever. Uh, the, the perfect gifts for family and friends. Um, you can shop up to 40% off for Mother's Day. All right, go get something nice for your mother. They have a lot to offer there. Get her a, a pair of sunglasses. For, uh, shop up to 40% off for Mother's Day and save big on the perfect gift for mom. Join the movement by going to mvmt.com slash basement now and enjoy up to 40% off. That's a big percentage, folks. Uh, mvmt.com slash basement now for 40% off. Go get your mom something nice, all right? Don't be a bad son or daughter. Uh, and next here, we have Simply Safe. Uh, Simply Safe. It is uh, home security. Frankie has something safe set up. Very easy to set up, and um, they have people around the clock, 24/7, watching. So if anything goes off, one of these alarms are tripped or whatever is going on, they will send the authorities, the proper authorities, to your home. And fun story: I have the motion sensor in my house, which is one of the myriad of things that you can get, and one of the devices you can get through Simply Safe. And a balloon set it off. That's how good these things work. And then what happened? Two seconds later, I got a call like, hey, you want us to send something over there? And I was like, I got it, baby. It's just a balloon. It's just a balloon. <laughs> uh, comprehensive, Simply Safe system, uh, 24-7 uh, professional monitoring. Uh, you always have someone looking out for you. And plans cost just under a dollar a day. No long-term conf- contracts or hidden fees either. Um, just go to simplysafe.com slash basement. Uh, you can customize the perfect system for your home in just a few minutes. All right, so simplysafe.com slash basement. Go get it. Protect your stuff, folks. All right, protect it. Uh, okay, I wanted to talk to you about something. There's been this famous case in the news, uh, Frank, uh, that 
we're not gonna like get into because I don't really know the details of it. Yeah. But, like the it was the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Oh yeah. Oh like, yeah. Um, defamation suit. Uh, and there's a bunch of clips of it going viral on TikTok, one of which I wanted to talk about. What a, what a world we live in. There's a suit between two people in Hollywood about, you know, possible abuse. And it's just the, we get our news. From Let's the, meme this. Yeah. TikTok, <laughs> TikTok. Yeah. But I saw it on TikTok and, um, I want to get your thoughts. Okay. I want to hear it now. Like I said, I don't know much about this. Uh, you know, I hear that. You know, whatever. They, they were not a great couple, I will say. There was stuff going on. We're not social warriors. We're not going to parse through who's right, who's wrong. We don't know what's going on. But I do know this. I do know that Johnny Depp was on the stand and being... Testifying. And, and testifying and told a story of one time when they were in an argument. Okay. And she shit on his bed. Wait, What? Shit on his side of the bed. So they had shared a bed. You share a bed. Which side do you sleep on? Uh, looking at the bed, I sleep on the right. Now imagine... I, I live on the right side, baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now imagine you and your wife get into an argument. Stop you there. I love my wife. I hold her in such high regard. I'm waiting for the butt. I do not want to think about her shitting on my bed. What? I don't want to think about her shitting, Berian. Yeah. Uh... If I came home, if I was in an argument, because I'm, a, you know how I am about arguing. I am very like, I'm very like, you know, like I can drive people nuts because I'm, I'm, I'm a little, <laughs> I'm a little detail oriented about yeah, yeah. conversation, and I'm, tr I've been trying to get better as to not being so matter of a fact. That's so far. If I found out, yeah, that that my beautiful, yeah, incredible wife shit on my side of the bed for sure. On my fucking bed, I'm dude! My, where I sleep! <laughs> I am burning that house to the ground. Yeah, I think... And the reason why I brought this up is because... I think that... She wins that argument. <laughs> you know? Uh, like, I, I think a, yeah, I think dude. a shit on the side of a bed kind of trumps everything else. Bro, you know I get so angry sometimes. Like, I just... An like, angry I have to, shit? Like, fucking... Rah! Like, bro, I get like... Ugh. You know, I don't scream. I, I I don't scream. I don't raise my voice, but I get so like, you know. Yeah. If I got angry to the point that to get back at someone, I shit on their side of the bed. Also, think about how crazy this is, right? She shits on his side of the bed, whatever. What we're forgetting is that she sleeps in that bed. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's... She's, she well, she kamikaze the, the bed. She sleeps on the other side. What happens? Like, she... Exactly. She took that whole fucking... That's some honorable uh, shit. It was a bold move. That was a bold move because you have to live in whatever's coming out of you. Bro, I can't imagine shitting on a bed. I can't imagine being like, I'm good. Bro, if I shit in that side of the room, this whole room is ruined. Oh, it's a wrap. It's all done. No matter what's in here. It's all getting... And I know you. <laughs> you would. You forgot to wash a plate and you threw out all of your fucking dinnerware. I'm pulling this rug up. <laughs> the rug, dude. You'll give away the building. <laughs> The studio, this place is gone. Someone shits on my floor. That's like, bro. Uh, imagine how mad you have to be to then be like, I'm just going to squat here and shit on his I want to know what the argument was about. Because if it had anything to do with shit, that's even more evil, dude. I think it was like a probably a compound anger where yeah. it was like years of just it built by, it built up building up to the point where it's like i have to release this gotcha you know? the, the argument was just fibrous and just yeah. it let it all out <laughs> i don't know dude if i had found it like if it was just like an argument about like something someone said at a party or someone blah, 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 or you didn't clean the dishes the right way that's one thing it's an inexplicable anger shit but if she were like if it was like you didn't clean up the dog shit and then she was like, I'm not only going to, I'm going to double down and then take a shit on your side of the fucking sheets. I mean, uh, dude, <clears throat> I would say this. If I, I, I'm Johnny Depp. Of course you are. And I, uh, hello. Now I'm Johnny Depp. That was pretty good. That was, where did that come from? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Give me your best Captain Jack. I don't, okay, I don't, I don't want to ruin quit, it. Quit while you're Yeah, ahead. I don't want to ruin yeah, it. Yeah, John Elway. <laughs> John L.A. Quit while he was ahead. Oh, okay. Um, but, 
if I'm Johnny Depp and I walk into this bedroom and I see human shit on the bed and she's just like, yeah, that's what happens. I'd be like, I'd be a different person. After yeah, that. I would too. I would be like, I, I would almost, I would have to, I'd be so confused. I wouldn't know what to say or who to tell. I would just probably just like concede completely. Bro, I, I think you just shit on my bed. Like I would have to, in a way, like. Congrats. You you went there. You won this one. But I'm going to get you back. I would have to smile. I'd be like, D <laughs> Oh, there would be zero smiles in the Alvarez Frankie household. Frankie does not do well with butts and poop. I'm not a big poop guy. Not a big fart guy. You're, you're a sexist when it comes to shit. I'll wear that proudly. No, I know. I, but I, no, but and I, farting. I'll, but I'll also say this. I don't like anyone talking about shit or farting. When you do it, I don't like it either. Well, nope. <laughs> nope, I'm pretty... I mean, we talk about shitting. When do I really talk about shitting? I mean, I'm sure we can find a compilation I'm of sure shit. you can find a um clip from my fucking year, two years on the show. No, but I... I... I'm saying right now, jokes aside, if Becca had done that, that, I'm walking out of there a different man. I would be, honestly, I think at first I'd be like very scared. I would... <laughs> because I'd be like, this. I'm not dealing with it person who like bro has any sort of i like i'd be like they can kill me like killing is way easier than shitting on a bed i think no 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 no. i would think no. the shitting on a bed is i mean it's evil that's a thing and All listen right, I'm maybe not, not killing but definitely like stabbing with a fork you need to be in such an enraged state that you disrobe you pull your bajol out yeah and you in your head don't stop what is coming out of your body. You have a moment. You have yeah. a couple moments, dude. You need to squat on that bed and get and uh, like, did she have to shit or did she sit there like, bro? That's the she other. She waited thing. on it. <laughs> How long did she wait on it? Yeah. If it's like I'm so angry, I've been having to shit this whole time that I'm just gonna. You you kind of feel, but if it's like, bro, how long is she sitting there? Dude, for? I don't know, but I'll tell you this right now. After hearing the story, I will never. I'll, I'm never gonna argue with a full woman. Ever again? Not after dinner? No, 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 no. <laughs> like early morning. You only are. Well, or no, no, that's actually, a tough yeah, time too. Not, yeah. You gotta be careful, <laughs> Joe. I'm fucking. Your midday, but, your arguments only. Yeah, yeah. Something. Like two to six p.m. Not even two to four. I'll wait until she's like, I'm starving. I'd be like, okay, now. Now we gotta talk. We gotta have a <laughs> Dude, this would ruin me completely. And I'm not gonna listen. It's a big move. It's a big move. I understand. We can get into the discussion. big respect. Honestly, big respect of. I don't know if that's respectful. Not big respect. Big respect. You got to give big respect to, you know. Dude, I'll good, let you do this move. one. You'll be a TikTok pretty soon. <laughs> There'll be a TikTok of you talking about Amber Heard and saying big respect. Um, Not everyone could do something like that. Because even if I'm in a body of water, I'm like, I'm just going to piss in this lake or whatever. My 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 dick is like very conservative. Like, no, wait. Oh, yeah. you sure? Yeah. Wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. Yeah. So like, it takes a while for me to be able to just pee. You got checks and balances in your body. Yeah. Like not, my, my butt would be like, bro, bro, bro. And then I'd be like, just. Your brain is telling you go for it, but your 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 pee pee and your your bod yeah. is saying like, yo, like, are we sure about this? Like, bro, I'll tell you this: the only people I've seen openly shit in public are homeless people. So if you get angry to the point that you are gonna act just like a just a fucking crazy ass homeless person. That is a, a level of anger I've never gotten to. I hope I never do. That's not true. I've gotten there, but I don't think to the point where I'm I'm ready to to chin. I'm triggered. <laughs> chin. I don't know if I've ever seen someone take a dump. Dude, I've seen, I've seen, I've walked through parts of New York where people, homeless people, just love pooping, dude. I mean, you gotta poop. When you gotta go, you gotta go. I get you ever it. Think about that. Hold on. I just thought of something. Go ahead. There's so many homeless people. Which that then has to translate to there's a lot of homeless shit. Not necessarily. I mean, there are places. Well, as of late, take it from someone that often needs to find a bathroom, Joe. Yeah. Uh, a we, lot of places never used to allow people to like use the bathroom. You'd need to be a customer. There have been times I've gone into whether it be like. Is that against the law now? I, I don't know if it's against the law as much as like there have been companies that have gotten in trouble. Like Starbucks was a big one. Starbucks a couple, like a year and a half ago, had like not allowed, or maybe two years ago, whatever it was, had not allowed, I believe it was like a black teenager in, in Manhattan to use their bathroom unless they bought something. And Twitter was pissed. Twitter was like, it's because they're black, you're racist, you know. 
So now anyone can go in and use a bathroom. You don't need to be, which for people like me, love it. I don't get that. Like, why are you holding your bathroom ransom? Like, you think I'm like, like, I, well, it's because unfortunately, like you do have the small percentage of times where people go in and they use drugs or they make, they just destroy it. You know what I mean? Like yeah, if yeah. I go in and buy something, it's easier to like kind of track who it was. So like, God forbid you needed to like file a police report. Dude, there's times where I have to shit. I will literally give you my social security number. Bro, I would walk in. There were times where I had to use the bathroom so bad. I would walk. Bro, I did it in Manhattan. I walked into that Krispy Kreme near Times Square. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, give me any donut and any drink. I'm going to use the bathroom. And they're like, okay. And then I come back and it's, I just get, I have a donut and a, and a tea. Or, or, you know, like I think one time they gave me just a bottle of water. I was fine with that too. Damn, dude, take a shit and then eat a warm donut. That's fire. <laughs> Bro, have you been to the Krispy Kreme factory in Manhattan? No. You can see them make the donuts, dude. It's pretty cool. I could watch someone make donuts all day. Dude, I got sucked in a black hole the other day on TikTok watching an old man make taffy. Oh, oh, oh where they, they flip the... Yeah, he like does it on like his hot pan, and then he, and then there's a hook on the wall, and he's just like... Yeah, 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 yeah. I love those, dude. I love that fucking video. The sugar flip. Where he just like flip, and he puts like a little strawberry thing in it, yeah. and he just flips it, and it looks like he's not even doing. It. He's like, he's like, yeah, we put a little birthday cake in it, and he put like a little bit. I was like, bro, put some more fucking put, birthday put cake that in birthday it. Birthday cake in that bitch, Don't be boy. A little shy with the birthday cake. You I want to go to one of those factories where they just throw candy on a hook on the wall. It's a store, bro. Bro, let's do it. Let's go. Yeah, let's make our own candy. I'd love to do that. No, honestly, that sounds like it looks like so tiring. It does look hard, <laughs> bro. They pour molten sugar. On like a fucking marble counter, yeah, bro. How many you got? He makes it in the to... window, dude. I would just be standing outside watching this fucking guy make. I'd, it. I'm a tactile boy. If I like something, I have to touch it. So I would, <laughs> I would have to, I would have to feel it, and I'd probably burn myself. Let me tell you about the time I burnt my hand on hibachi. You burnt your hand at hibachi? Yeah, pretty bad too. I've also never been to hibachi in my life, dude. There was a hibachi place next to my college that was notorious. Lunch special, 11 to 3 p.m., 11 a.m. to 3 p.m., half price, or buy one, get, uh, get one free drinks. Oh, what? Buy one, get one free. And half off hibachi, like, lunch meal. So you can get, like, bro, we would go, and I'd get a scorpion bowl for two. What is a scorpion bowl? Bro, it comes in a fucking giant bowl like this with a, a fire in the middle. Is it's there? like it's Bacardi 151 in the middle on fire and it's a giant alcoholic and it's for two people but you get it for yourself yeah and then you get one free so I was drinking for four <laughs> people for one bro I got so drunk at this place but we would go like a bunch of my friends and I and we would always ask for the same hibachi chef because he would always bro he'd squirt sake in our mouths for days dude I was sucking sake down like it was no one's problem yeah do you feel like that's a little bit like He's like big dick in you. Yeah, a little bit. Or it's but like it's you, go, right. you go there with like your wife, and he's just like, "Oh, I got you." Yeah, dude, but I don't care. I go. I could do it nonstop. Keep spraying her, <laughs> <laughs> bro. I've gone once with Becca and Miles, and Miles was like, "Whoa!" And I was just like, <laughs> "I was just sucking down sake." Oh, it's sake in front of my son. Can you? <laughs> from a man. From a man. <laughs> but. We would always ask for the same chef because he would like he was he super from far away too. Bro, right? far away. He put one in the like he had a little doll that like squirt from his pee pee. He did that. Wait, hold on. What'd yeah, you say? yeah, yeah. You went to Hibachi and they had a doll that pissed out sake. Yeah, into your mouth. Yeah, it was sick, dude. It was sake. I didn't care how it was getting in. Sounds pretty sick. You didn't care about how it was getting in. No, I, I didn't guys care. like turn around, open your ass. Yeah, <laughs> dude. <laughs> And he, he had a pissing doll, bro. I'm telling you, we in would, front of your stepson. Oh no, no, no. Miles wasn't there when, oh, the, when, okay. the, when the doll pissed sake in my mouth. <laughs> this was in college, all right. I had this I, was prime doll I, pissing yeah, sake I would, years. I wouldn't do that in front of my son, Joey. Come on, I'd just talk about it for thousands, hundreds, and thousands of people to see, millions, hopefully. And, <laughs> Uh, he would like let us fucking cook because he would do like the volcano. He would do the egg and shit. So we would get so drunk and give this place so much money that he was just like, "Yo, you want to come up and cook?" So like, there are pictures of me behind the thing throwing this fucking throwing the broccoli at people and shit. And he tried to teach me how to do the volcano, mm -hmm. but bro, I was blacked out drunk. You had a couple scorpions in. You. I had two scorpion bowls in me. I was blacked out drunk. <laughs> and how he would do the volcano is he would set up the onion. He would put a little thing of 
you know, like oil and like light it on fire. And then he would go really quick. He'd go boom, boom. And like he would spray it in there. With his hands? Yeah. But it was happening so fast that like it, he doesn't feel it. <laughs> well, he let you do this? Oh, yeah. So drunk Frankie saw it. I was like, I got biz. <laughs> so I go over and I'm just like. And I wiped. Wait, are we, was your hand on a stove? On the stove, dude. I burnt my whole hand bad. What did you, did you scream? I, I was so drunk. I didn't even realize it at first. The next day when I woke up, my hand hurt so fucking bad. It burnt off like a layer of skin on my, on my hand. It was that bad. <laughs> it was fucking bad, dude. And you didn't go, ah. No, dude. I was, bro, those scorpion bowls. Did you like the volcano? No. <laughs> Oh, I fucked up the volcano. I think I actually like knocked it over. Yeah. And I was, and he was just like, all right, sit the fuck down. And I was, I was like, like, right, like, okay. Have another scorpion bowl, dude. Bro, I don't know what was in those goddamn things, but I would. 151. Bro, two of them. I would black out. Like, yeah. hard. Last time I did it was the day my grandmother died. Oh, dude, awesome. Yeah, dude. He's fucking rad. <laughs> That's a good benchmark. I had, I had my dad almost drove up to get me because no one could get in touch with me. I woke up to like 30 missed calls and my buddy Sly <laughs> banging on the door. I'm like, what happened? He goes, your parents have been trying to reach you. And I'm like, oh. And I look at my phone, and it's like, grandma's gone. And I was like, oops. <laughs> yeah. All right. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Scorpion bold, yeah. She burned your hand. <laughs> she, she, well, that, that's what it was. Yeah. It was the power of Zeus burning my hand. That's what it was. <laughs> that's a great story. Yeah, yeah, I've never yeah. heard that one. Really? No. Uh, we need right. to get you to hibachi, dude. We do need to do that, because I want to be sprayed. You want to be I don't want to be pissed on by a doll. Though. Pissed on by a doll with sake is, it sounds awful, a lot of fun. I can't believe that's true. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> pissed on sake. Okay. Uh, let's get to these next ads okay, before we right. move on. Yeah. Uh, we have here Blender's Eyewear. Okay. We've talked about Blender's Eyewears before. Uh, it was a company started by a man named Chase Fisher. So that's a name. That is a name. And uh, he started uh, selling his beachy shades out of a backpack while doubling as a surf instructor. This guy is the beach, and he is the sun as well. Uh, so if there's anyone in the world uh, who knows how to make good sunglasses, it's Chase Fisher, the Fisher, uh, the surf instructor who was doing this out of his fucking backpack. Uh, but unlike the big, big expensive brands, you're looking at $600 sometimes for those, uh, these are actually affordable, and you're not going to, you know, cry as much when the inevitable happens which you're going to lose them i have a pair of sunglasses in my uh my apartment i have a pair of blenders eyewear right at the front and super affordable if they lose them we could just get another pair yeah. but i lose i've lost every single one i've bought expensive sunglasses one time god knows where they are i think oh. sunglasses are actually the most lost like accessory maybe probably quote, quote me quote them no, no research. Got that. Uh, Blender's team of in-house designers are constantly coming out with new styles uh, from orange polarized wraparounds, tortoiseshell frames with purple lenses. They have really cool stuff. I have these big pair that are fire. So I'm going to get those in here one day, and we're going to have a little party. Uh, but Blender's eye eyewear, uh, go check them out. Uh, you, get, you can score 15% off with your Blender's purchase. Visit blenderseyewear.com and enter the promo code BASEMENTVIP. Become a VIP, people. Uh, BlendersEyewear.com Code is BASEMENTVIP Again, you get 15% off Of your already affordable Sunglasses, alright? So go get some Blendis Go get some Blendis And lastly here We have Titan Okay, Titan uh, Is going to help you uh, Educate yourself On investing Alright uh, As everyday investors The cards ha uh, have been stacked Against us basically you're, People tell you like Oh, just invest in the S&P and, you know, whatever happens, happens. Go for the average, um, you know, the conservative, whatever. But people who are wealthy have a team of people that help them out, and they don't even do anything, and they get, you know, 15%, 20% on their money. Uh, but now with Titan, uh, it's like you'll have a person, a personal investment team that researches and invests for you so that you can aim to outperform the market uh, while giving you a courtside seat to becoming a smarter investor along the way. So basically, you're going to have a team of people that are going to help you invest and they're going to help you make some money. Also, they're aiming to grow your investments by at least 15% annually net of fees. 
Okay, so 15% net of fees, uh, and that's a big number, 15%. Usually you're looking at around like, you know, six conservatively, so more than double, maybe. Don't quote me on all those, but that's around what you're getting. If your money's just sitting in, an, in a savings account, you're making less than 1%. So you're gonna wanna invest your money. Uh, all it takes is $100 to get started, deposit your money, select which of their portfolios you wanna uh, invest in, and that's it. Uh, their experts will give you updates about the market and decisions being made with your money, and you can even, you can even ask them questions within the app. Um, but yeah, it's great, go check it out. It's, I have been trying, to, uh, I've been using it, and, and it's like interesting to see what they're doing with your money and asking questions and learning along the way. Um, because I feel like there's always more that you could be learning when it comes to investing. I mean, and not always just like, you're not gonna find that on some random TikTok page with some guy who's like, oh, trust me, this is the one, or like, there's a lot of things to know. So with this, it's, it's helpful and it's, it's good to know that you're talking to experts that will help you out along the way. Uh, you can check out Titan if you want to aim to become the smartest, wealthiest investor you've ever been. So head to titan.com slash basement to get $50 when you invest with Titan. You must go to this URL or you will not get that $50. Uh, and they won't know that uh, we sent you there. Uh, $50, $50 when you go to titan.com slash basement and invest with Titan. A lot of people are getting to invest right now. This is a cool way to get started. Uh, again, free $50 when you invest with titan.com slash basement. All right. Uh, if you are invested with Titan, uh, this is a paid sponsorship with Titan. At, and at the time of publication, I am not yet in invested with uh, their strategies. Um, all right. So, that's all we have for today as far as... Uh, oh, well, well, you know, well, 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 we spoke earlier about Patreon. I want to make sure I plug it here. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. Guys, we reached 10,000 patrons. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. As a result, uh, I will be getting a man Brazilian, which is a manzillion, I've been told. Yes. Uh, and uh, it is going to be exclusively on Patreon for all of our patrons to award them and reward them uh, for getting us to where we are. We don't want to stop, though. Got to keep that growth going, baby. 11,000. Joey's going in a shark tank. Yeah. And uh, I know it's something that we've spoken about on Patreon episodes before, but uh, we want to get there. So please... Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. We're not just telling you to sign up for something you don't get anything for. That first tier, guess what? These weekly episodes, get them a week in advance. You go on the comment section of YouTube and you see six days ago and you're like, how the heck did that happen? Guess what? They're patrons. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. And then on that next tier, well, guess what? You can start your week with The Basement Yard and end your week with exclusive episodes that nobody else sees. Sign up and you get to see every single past Patreon exclusive that has been put on there. There's hundreds of episodes, hundreds of hours of content that you're going to be able to see. So please go check it out. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. Sign up now. Get us to 11,000. Joey's getting eaten by some sharks. Okay. Why would you even jinx that? Possibly eaten by some I'm sharks. I'm not going to get eaten by sharks. They're, what would they, if they bite you, they take a leg? Maybe. You're, 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 what do you need a leg for? Are you going to run another fucking half marathon, Joe? <laughs> I mean... You didn't Are you going to ask me what, what, why I would want to have another Well, leg? I know why you would want to have a leg, but like, yeah. you could lose worse things. Like? Your PP. Is that worse? That's a good question. That's liberal Joe right there. Progressive Joe. Asking the right questions. <laughs> Is it worse? I don't know. That's a really good question. I'm, I'm sure if you ask... I feel like I could get a dick. I, well, I think like you could... Yeah. You, you could definitely get Actually, a the dick. leg... Uh, the leg might be the answer because you could definitely get a leg. I've seen people with legs. Well, with prosthetic legs. That's but, what I mean. But, like, I, I think you could still get a dick. And, like, I think they could still extract. Like, if they just bite off, if a shark just bites pee pee and not like balls, I'm pretty <laughs> sure you could still, like, bear children. How? You just, like, rub it like a vagina? No, I'm sure they'd have to, like, extract. Oh, you know, like a medical extraction of ejaculate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I guess. <clears throat> yeah, I haven't really asked that question before. Uh, well, speaking of almost losing body parts, I don't know if you saw this, Joey, but in the news, Mike Tyson beat the dog shit out of this kid on a plane. Kid. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was. I mean, in his twenties. Really, bro? You didn't see the video? I saw a headline, but I didn't know it was a. 20 year old so i mean i'm he might not be 20 he looks like he's in his mid to late 20s okay. i could be wrong but um basically this kid is just up it looks like he's drunk sitting in first class behind mike tyson iron mike one of the greatest fighters ever in the history of boxing uh in the history of the world i'll say and uh whatever he did whatever he said whatever whatever happened mike tyson turned around and gave him a couple dude 
apparently Tyson was being really cool. The witness tells us Mike took a selfie with him and then the patient and then was patient with his overly excited buddy who kept trying to talk to the 50 or five year old fighter. Eventually though, we're told Tyson had enough of the guy behind him talking in his ear and told him to chill. When the guy didn't, that's when the witnesses say Tyson started throwing several punches. Well, good dude. Listen up, bro. Out of all people, Mike Tyson. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You need to be a special level of stupid to fuck with a fighter. Period. Bro, like if I saw like Conor McGregor in the street, like Conor McGregor, not a big guy, could kill me with his hands, probably his legs too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but if I saw him, I could understand why someone would fuck with him because he's not that big. I mean, why Bro. would you fuck with uh, of any like I would any not... fighter? Yes, I'm saying, but like of all people, dude, Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson, the guy who was literally called the most dangerous man in the world. Yeah, he's a savage. I'm watching the video now for the first time. Oh, he's taking a picture with him. He's being cool. Clearly, this guy is like he looks like a drunk idiot. He he was clearly drunk at one point in like part of the video. He's calling like people on the plane peasants, which clearly only drunk people do. Hopefully, guess what? Also. Don't mean to shock the world here. The kid, white. <laughs> Why was that? Why? Just, you know. I hate when people are, like, annoying to celebrities like this. Like, I'm watching this right now, and I'm just like, bro. It's actually fucking amazing. It's funny because it cuts. It cuts, and then he's looking at the camera like this, and he has blood down his head. Bro. I don't know if there are many people, like, I would avoid fucking with. Because, like, you know me, Joey. I like to mess around with people, like, jokingly, though. But, bro, Mike Tyson? I'm not, like, bro, you're getting a handshake. Nice to meet you, Iron Mike. Mr. Tyson, probably. And then I'm fucking going the other way. You think he's going to get in trouble for this? Without a fucking ditty. <laughs> Dude, the world Why? that we live in, first but of all... I'm being antagonized. I know, I know. If we're being honest, it's the litigious nature that we live in. And I work in this field. He's going to get sued for fucking $3 million. That's cool. And the kid's going to be like, you, you, it was on the internet, you fucking ruined me, and all this ba ba ba. But is there not like some sort of law that's like, if someone is in your ear like that, like, you know? I don't know. I can't, I can't speak to the actual verbiage of the law. I'm sure I'll, I'll hit up my boy Legal Eagle and he'll let me know. Who? You've never seen the Legal Eagle on YouTube, dude? The Legal Eagle? Bro. Is it a bird? No. It's a fucking. <laughs> it's a guy. Who's like a fucking seasoned trial lawyer and he just breaks down different things in the news about the legality behind them and like he'll watch like TV shows and break down movies and shit like that. It's my boy. Devin Stone. Whatever his name is. He looks like a Devin Stone if we're being honest. Yeah, the legal eagle. He's got like a fucking Wait, million. you watch this all the time? Every now and then. Why? What, do you, what cases are you interested in? Well, he does ones that are like he breaks down like remember the, the bird law episode of It's Always Sunny? Yeah, he breaks that down and basically talks oh, about like it just like shit like that and like how stupid it is. But I don't know. There's got to be a rule that like if you fuck with someone, they're gonna hate you. Yeah, like if you're in Mike Tyson's ear and it's like, all right, dude, we get it. Like, chill, chill, and you just keep going, you keep going. You're like, all right, man, like, and just get socked. Of all people, too, Mike Tyson. Also suing Mike Tyson for that, like, if you if he does end up suing him, like, you're a bitch. Dude. Yeah, you're if you you need to wear this one. Take the L. Yeah. You know, if you fucked with Mike Tyson Honestly, and you got kind of cool. You got beat up by Mike Tyson. Not a lot of people could say that. If that was like your bachelor party, you'd be like, yo, it was fucking fire. Like, we had a great time. And then on the way home, we got beat up by Mike Tyson. It was sick. Dude, you have to imagine that this kid instantly, like, landed and called his dad. Like, dad, get to call our lawyer. I wouldn't even, like, tell my parents. I would be embarrassed if something, if this was me and I was, like, just like blackout and like talking to someone too long I'd be like damn dude well it seems like it's his boy that posted the video so I wonder if like his boy will get in trouble if he's like yo the world saw me get beat up and it's like well yeah your boy posted it you could have told him not to yeah I don't I don't think I think he'll be okay I think my Tyson will be alright there ever been people that have come up to you and like you've been like bro I want to hit this I want to sock this person right in the mouth no, but some people are very weird and they make me uncomfortable. Like when we were in Key, Key West. West? Oh, yeah. That, that, okay. that one dude was just so weird. Like, could have had the gash on the back of his hand? No, no, not him. The other one. Oh, was, the one that was like, oh, oh, you, my wife likes you? You want to fucking drink with me, bro? Yeah, he's like, let's get drunk right now. I was like, 
<laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was just trying to be like, because I felt like a weird energy from the dude. I was just like, what the fuck is going on? But I get that, like being in a situation where people are just like, oh, and they just like throw your arm around you and you're just like, okay. Yeah, the people that see celebrities are people of, of any stature and think like, I, I'm cool with this person enough to like throw my arm on them. Yeah, like, dude, don't. That's a very personal. Yeah, like, don't do that. I don't even do that to you. Yeah, you don't. The last time I did, I think you punched me. Yeah. But we're learning something about ourselves today. I didn't do that. No, you didn't hit me. And I also don't think I've ever put my arm around you like as my pal. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure you have, like in pre-K. <laughs> Pre-K, definitely. Pre-K. Do you remember when you used to complain that I would play with buttons? Yeah, Frankie would talk to me if I was wearing like a polo shirt. And he would just play with the buttons. He's like, yo, wanna? I'm like, can you fucking stop? <laughs> it, was, it was a problem. You're a fidgeter, dude. I can be a little bit of a fidgeter. Yeah, by the way, before, before we like wrap up here, can we just quickly fit in the, the like dumbbell story that you... Oh, yeah. Yeah. So there was a uh, Brazilian man that got... What was that? Yeah, you, you know, that was Brazilian. That got a two-kilogram dumbbell stuck in his bahant. <laughs> But he was complaining. Two kilogram. What is that? Like a pound? I don't know. It's got to be like a pound. I don't know these kilograms. You know, like well, like yeah, dude. I don't know. But um, he was like complaining that he like couldn't fart, couldn't use the bathroom, and was super like well, there's a dumbbell. nauseous. Well, yeah, because you're fucking backed up with uh, you know iron, iron. <laughs> <laughs> like, and uh, the doctor did an X-ray and found a basically, I guess, one pound dumbbell. But did you see the dumbbell? No. It's a little penis looking. Looks like a penis. It does. Well, it's only one pound. I can't imagine it would be because, like, you think of like a ten pound dumbbell, right? Like it has like those things on either yeah, side. Yeah, like, yeah. How would you even get that in your ass? Yeah, but like even like if you go and look at like a two pound dumbbell, they have ends that are bigger. Right. But it has a smaller handle. Right. So it makes like it's like preventing people from shoving it in its ass. Well, uh, well, yes. I would almost say that this is probably the like this dumbbell looked a little penis shaped. So you're thinking, if I, why would you go to the doctor and complain? Like, I don't know what's going on. I can't fart. Like, you know, you shoved a dumbbell <laughs> in your ass. You know that you have to assume the reason why you can't fart or poop or whatever. is because you shoved a dumbbell and, in your ass. And if you don't know that that's the reason you have way bigger problems to go How through. Oblivious. Can you be, you shoved an iron foreign object into your soul. And like, can you feel that? Like, can you feel it in there, dude? Yeah, I'm sure you can. Have you? You've never really had anything in your butt, right? Definitely not something that's two kilograms. I've had, I've, for medical reasons, a finger. Right. And like, I felt it there. But you didn't. Oh, you didn't even get like a full thing. No, trust me, I got a pretty good looking thing. No, but did you get like a whole finger? I got like, I think it was like this one, dude. But like all the way down to the knuckle. I, I, I don't I was fighting it the whole time I'll Damn, tell you he this. was like he's fucking he fingering. was fucking fingering my butt dude Damn, dude uh and um I felt that but like what if what oh, if it's like dumbbell. past the gates it's like in a place where it's just like part of your body then you know and like you don't really feel it oh like if it's in your colon yeah what is at the front here sphincter no <laughs> no like once you get inside right I think that's your sphincter dude that's like the the barrier. No, I thought the sphinct the sh this was it sphincter. Sphincter is like the rim. I thought. I think yeah, it's like the open close, yeah, like the your eye, like your eyelid, exactly yeah. the bouncer. But once you get inside, I think you're in the colon. I think you know what a re what's a rectum? Uh, let's let's. There's a, a real easy way to figure this out. You ready for this? It's better just to spitball. Anatomy of oh. a butt hole. <laughs> okay. All right. We've got some pictures here, Joe. All right, school me. So, all right. What's a rectum? Wait, uh, hold on. So, if you could see here, that's a butt. Bro, that's an opened ass. That's an open asshole, dude. Okay, why so, is there hair? Everyone's got a little hair near their butthole. Maybe. Yeah, but like so unnecessary for this. All right, so you got the fatty cheeks, right? Yeah. All right. So that those are called the that's the anal verge, the anal verge. That's a bad name. Like virgin, I'm an anal verge. Dude. You are. <laughs> and then and you're going up. It's the anaderm, Ana, anaderm, anaderm. Okay. Then there's the anal crypt. Whoa! Whoa! I got dude. a crypt. You got a crypt in your butt. Damn. Pretty sick. 
Only cool people have crypts. Yeah, like you hide secrets in there. So that up until a certain point, it, that's the anal canal. All right, so we got a canal going, yeah. All right, so then we got the pectinate or dentate line. You got a denture in your Damn, bun. dude, we got teeth. You got the squat, uh-oh, squamocolumnar junction, which is like, I guess, like ribbed for poop pleasure. Yeah, yeah, I don't just, know who that's ribbed it's for. It's a junction for sure. Anal columns or morgagni. Which I guess are like the cool ribbed parts of your butthole. And then you go up a little bit, that's where your rectum is. Got so it. you need to get Got into it. the hole, like maybe but like. We don't know how, sh- how like zoomed in we are here. It could be maybe not that far well, in. Well, yeah, it's not drawn to scale. Like if I put my finger in your butt, would I touch your rectum? Yeah, if you go deep enough, maybe. I don't know. All right, here, we got another picture here. And this one includes dick and balls. Oh my God, that's a fucking ball. So there's there's your testes. Yo, Tesco's look oh. like dumplings. <laughs> it says gi- Gaian's penis. I thought it said giant penis. Yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> yeah, that is giant. All penis, right, man. Dude. Okay, <laughs> sweet. So it looks like your anus is the butthole, and then inside is your rectum. Yeah, but where's the colon? So it looks like oh, that's a woman's. That's a woman stuff. Yeah. Wait, why is what is what is that? Oh, a, is that a boob? A woman's butt, dude, and puns. That's a butt? Yeah, dude. You but don't what's see... that on the left side? That's the butt cheek. Show the show the camera. Will we get demonetized? I mean, it's educational. We're trying to educate. See on that left side? That's why I thought it was a boob. That looks like a boob hang. That's not a butt. No, bro. that's butt, dude. Because look, underneath. Pussy. <laughs> it doesn't say pussy. No, it doesn't, obviously. It's... Oh, they got a picture with a finger and a butt to kind of give you an oh, idea. Oh, perfect, perfect. Give you an idea here. Wow, this is... So prostate, nice. Okay, show them this. <laughs> okay, all right. So prostate is like a little button near. That's like the one that makes you like. Oh, that's like yeah. Apparently, dude, your penis goes straight to your prostate. Look at that. Yeah, dude, the prostate creates a uh, part of the stuff. What what is that? The the cum. Oh, I didn't know that. So you can just like poke. Damn, like through gotta, the wall? Yeah, you gotta like scratch like a scratch Like some and fucking sniff. upside down like Stranger Things shit. You gotta scratch and sniff it. And Damn, then, and then you ew, go, oh no. Ew. I didn't know my bladder was up there. Uh, yeah, your bladder's, bladder's above your pee pee. I thought my bladder was like like downstairs. Oh, there's a there's an, clearly an animal asshole that I stumbled upon. A cat? I don't know. <laughs> uh, which, I mean, you had to have known it was an How'd uh, you know it was an animal? Because if that's a human, we got a problem. <laughs> Why it was very hairy, furry. Click on that. Don't sh- don't show. Oh, them. there's multiple. There's multiple assholes. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, zoom in. I want to I want to see if I could guess this. <laughs> oh my god, that's a weird looking one. No, that. Th- well, that's a vagina too. So it's a female. That's a, that's a female uh, animal. All right, rectum. I don't, don't want to. Uh, oh oh. oh. I don't want to. I'm seeing some gross yeah, stuff. You're full asshole up over there. I'm seeing some gross stuff. I'm seeing just like shadows of holes. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. It looks like a that rainbow. looks like you shoved like a bunch of red hots into a worm. Yeah. Oh god, dude. All right, here we go. Here we go. So we got anus, butthole, of course. You go down the street a little bit. Rectum. Rectum. Oh, your colon. Round the round the bend is the colon, Got dude. It. That's your large intestine, and then your small intestine connects to that. That's the wiggly waggly's. Right. Yeah. That's the the, the switchbacks. The switchbacks. Yeah. Look at that. Science. Well, science, 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 baby. Guys. Science. You're welcome. Hope you learned something, idiots. We sure didn't. Yeah. You know what I learned? What? That was an animal's asshole. Before. That was definitely an animal's yeah. asshole. There was a collection of them. There was a few. There was a few. An abundance. Yeah, I think we can end it there, you know? Well, why not? Well, next time we talk about assholes, we'll be sure to get right into the ads afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> uh, F. Alvarez 8085 on Twitter and then D. Frank Alvarez on Instagram. Go check it out. And then make sure you check out the Patreon. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. I believe we're over 10K again. Mm-hmm. And we get to 11. Guess what? Joey's getting eaten by sharks, baby. So go check it out. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. It's not going to be funny if it actually happens. People will blame me for it. Uh, you guys can follow me at Joe Sandigano and go follow the show at the Base Me Art on TikTok and Instagram. And that is all. See you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>